So, Mikhail, thanks a lot for being with us. This year we observed in Russia the major political protest uh, Along the summer, they were against the fact that some of the candidates hadn't been allowed to participate in the uh, elections in Moscow. It ended up in many political cases. Uh, but uh, what is, how significant is this case? And in the end of the year, what it changed in Russia, where it's leading? Yes, uh, it's, uh, of course, uh, what happened this summer in Moscow is the most significant, the most important uh, political thing that uh, happened in, 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 in many years uh, in, in Russia. Uh, I think it can and should be compared with uh, the protests of so-called Balotna movement of winter 2011. Eight years ago, it's sort of a remake of the situation, but this time uh, it, uh, there were some differences, some real difference. The first uh, the first thing that was different is that these protests were met with much harder violence and repression. Uh, it's like this summer Moscow turned into a military scene, into a war zone of, uh, of, of some kind when riot troops attacked uh, peaceful uh, protesters. Hundreds were detained uh, on a daily basis and, uh, and dozens got uh, real jail terms. Uh, again, unprecedented. Um, trials, uh, staged trials that, uh, yes, can be compared with uh, Balotna trial, but uh, again, uh, uh, harder, fa faster, and uh, more repressive. That's important. Um, what's also different from eight years ago is that this uh, movement, um, this protest movement that emerged this summer in Moscow, what is sort of unconditional. It's, uh, it's a clear anti-Putin movement. It's not, uh, um, it's not that softer approach that uh, protests, uh, protesters on Balotne um, um, showed uh, eight years ago initially, uh, at least showed. This is from the first, uh, from the first moment, uh, July 27, it was clear anti-government, anti-Kremlin and unconditional. Uh, also, what's important is that it's this uh, uh, this movement was effectively uh, suppressed. Uh, the protests were cracked down, uh, and um, Kremlin managed to um, to perform, and violence worked. And uh, if, of course, we understand that a lot of Moscovites supported this uh, this movement. Um, yet uh, the momentum was destroyed, and this is for now uh, absolutely clear. We don't know when it will uh, reappear again. Uh, it probably we probably will have to wait until the new um, election campaign, which will be the parliament, federal parliament Duma campaign of 2021. Uh, this will be the next point of. Um, uh, point of uh, of resistance, I would say. But uh, Mikhail, also uh, we know that some of the people had been sentenced for a couple of years in prison. So it's not just cracked. Maybe you would elaborate more. And what to expect still next in 2020? Um, also, like, have we gotten any new names, new politicians, uh, in order to be to be in the political scene in Russia, especially in the next year? Um. Yes, I think this um, this summer showed that there are new um, uh, new um, role models. I would say political role models on the scene. Uh, before that, we had probably only one Navalny. Uh, now that's more than than just himself. Lyubov Sobel showed herself as a uh, as a real leader of this Moscow. A Moscow protest movement, that's for sure. Ilya Yashin, I guess, also grew as a, uh, as a political person, individual, uh, during this campaign. Um, and, uh, well, we, we now have new names like Yegor Zhukov, who was one of these uh, arrested uh, in the first phase of the, of the repression in August. Uh, but yet we will have to see uh, how he will... Um, 
perform because uh, he is still very young, um, ob obviously. And but he is emerged as a leader of, let's say, uh, Moscow student movement. So still, uh, as for the political observer, what would you focus in 2020? Uh, 2020 is the nothing, uh, nothing specific, yet uh, with every day uh, the tension will grow. The tension is obvious, the, the reason for the tension is obvious, it's the so-called problem to uh, 2024 when Putin will have to leave. Uh, and every uh, political decision, every uh, Kremlin's decision would be aimed in somehow dealing with this problem. We don't know yet the outcome, we don't know if he stays or, uh, or goes, we, uh, there's nothing we know. What we know is that the parliamentary election of 2021 will be uh, the first uh, sort of step, phase of this uh, transit. And, uh, and uh, this will be the most important political thing happening yeah, in Russia, not next year, but the year after. Uh, yet the next year will be the sort of the whole preparation for this election, which already started. So thanks a lot for your explanation and uh, we'll, you know, uh, wait for the next year. And uh, again, happy holidays. Thank you very much.